thank you you are all welcome here once again we are going to learn about how to save our documents into different formats you have been asked to export your work and then send into the group when you are done yes so in this lesson we are going to learn how to save your documents and then how to export your works so this is our work we have done and when we want to save it we we'll go to file at the top here file here click on file and then come to save us then you click on save us okay so when you click on save us it will bring you this interface so you can just rename your file here as anything you want it to be my is first practical class uh -huh. so when you come down here you see different versions here different formats that you can save your documents into so let me just zoom for you to see so you see that we have adobe illustrator we have growl rav blah 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 pdf and others are here this is the pdf format here we have pattern file growl word perfect graphic so with this for you to save the work to into coral format you need to just save it with this with this name here and then it is a default name anytime you click on save us and then you come here it will be the default name so all you need to do is to click on save then it will save your documents for you okay let's come to how to export your work so when you want to export your work just highlight by clicking and dragging around what you want to export i will send what i'm doing then leave it then to select it come to file again when you come to file you come down then you see export so click on export it will also bring you a dialog box okay so it will bring you to this interface right so when you click at the bottom here you see different formats again different formats can you see the pdf the jpeg we have this jpeg also here this jpeg also here we have gif and then we have other formats right here i hope all of you can see it so when you want to export to jpeg you have to choose just the first one here can you see this jpeg choose it click on it and then you just save it click on export uh -huh. before then you see that we have select only here okay it is being taken it means that it's only the range have selected that will be exported i think you are getting it if this thing is not take the whole things on the workspace will be exported but this one you just want that range so be like selected only uh -huh. so it is going to command what you have selected then you export okay it is telling me that i have something like that as a picture on it already but let me just replace yes then it will bring you an interface where it will export the work for you that is how they work so this is the interface here. so you see custom here the quality you see custom here you see rgb here when you click you see cmyk we are not going to print so it should be at rgb when you use the gray school to be like some kind of black and white thing All right so the quality too we want high format so let's click highest then it will run again then i'll just click ok have you seen it so i've saved it as desktop so let me minimize and then go to my desktop and look for it yeah where are you where are you where are you where are you, where are you? Pun up, pun up. Uh -huh, this is it so you can see it as jpeg here this is it so with this you just have to copy onto your phone if you have whatsapp on your machine then you just have to send it like that copy by using usb plug into your phone 
or using Bluetooth. If you have any problem about it, just let us know. We are here because of you. Okay, so that ends the video for today. We'll be expecting our works, right? Sure.